Raymond James Stadium, home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is where today's game will come to you from. Thanks for joining us. Each of these teams looking to add a win to their record, and we're just about ready to get this one started as the Cleveland Browns get set to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Welcome to another presentation of NFL football. Hi, everyone. I'm Al Michaels, and with me, as always, John Madden. We've got two great defenses, and for this team, their anchor up front is this guy. He's got amazing strength, and he can toss an offensive lineman like a rag doll sometimes. Let me tell you, every quarterback knows how hard he can hit. I wouldn't be surprised to see him force some quick throws with his ability to collapse a pocket. Rondi Barber should be a very big factor at corner in this one because he will probably be tested early and often by the opposing offense. They usually count on him to shut down one side of the field, but that won't be an easy task. We have two great defenses, so we'll see who can make the most plays. Look at him down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. <laughs> They're already hitting each other. And the captains are out there ready for the coin toss. You have called head. Tampa Bay has won the toss and choose to receive. Good luck, men. Let's see how it plays out today as we get set for the kickoff. Number Dawson four, is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 26 to receive. He kicks it off. The Buccaneers take over on offense at the 20 yard line. First and ten. All stop. The deep man. Looking to throw. Passing to his right. Broken up. Fuller not put down. He was in a great position to make that play. Right. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 20. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Tosses it right. He displayed a lightning release on that play. Not only does he have a powerful arm, but he also has a quick release and accuracy to go along with it. It's first and ten. It's first and ten. Tried to rush that pass. Right. About six to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Set, 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 
The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Man in motion. Drops back. He surveys the field. Johnson passes it right. Fine. Great timing on that touchdown throw. And that's one of those passes we see a lot when the quarterback releases it, the receiver's not even looking. But then he looks up, and the ball's right there. It's on its way, and the extra point is good. And so they turn that drive into a great one as it ends with a touchdown. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you always make an adjustment. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. He sends it off. Northcutt will bring this one upfield. Breaks free of the defender. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Set. 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 Missed tackle. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 39-yard line. And he picks up about four. They need six. Only one man back. Man in motion. Green looking to turn it upfield. Webster records the tackle at the 44. Five-yard game. Third and one coming up on this play. Number 80 was very determined on that play, John. Yeah, and the offensive line had a lot to do with that one. If your line could clear out a hole like that, it makes picking up those first downs a lot easier. So we have first and 10 here. And it looks like an offset on. Man in motion. He's looking, rolling out to his right. Throws it. Great catch. Lynch pulls him down at the 24. <laughs> so they have first and ten here. Four man front. Green gets the toss. Breaks free of the defender. And he stopped at the 24. He was cut down quickly. He was waiting for something to develop, and whap, he got developed. Second and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up to go. Brooks came free and picks up a sack. Yeah, the quarterback just had to take the hit. And that took a lot out of him. Inside enemy territory. Drops back. Looking downfield. Couch throws to the middle. He finds his man. The team's has for sides and will start the second quarter. It's first and goal. Everybody up on the line. He's looking up here. Looking for.
for an opening. Smith brings him down at the five-yard line. Gain of about a yard. Second down, goal to go. For additional yardage, and he picks up about four. Right, so now we have third and goal. The defense is snacking the line of scrimmage with the count. Great rushing touchdown there. That is a big time run right there. And with that score, the momentum has shifted. And it's up. The point after is good. And the coaching staff is happy after that drive. Touchdowns against this defense aren't easy to come by. Hey, these guys deserve to feel good about it. Now it's the defense's turn to come out and do its job. Dawson is just about ready to kick this one away. He sends this one toward the end zone. Smith feels it cleanly. We've got a close one going here. It's first and ten. Throws it, and a fumble. Warren makes the stop at the 20-yard line. <laughs> Dimebacks in for this play. He's looking to pass. Passing right, he hits his receiver. And he's brought down at the 24. Just about a three-yard gain. Right. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Ball on their own 24. The backs are lined up in an eye. Looking to throw. Tosses it right. Hits his man with the pass. And he's brought down at the 25. One yard gain on that play. Davis lines up deep for the punt return. We'll see if they can move the ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Set. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Man in motion. Cut. Cut. Steps up into the pocket. Couch with the throw. Johnson was the intended target on that pass attempt. Right. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Couch under center, using motion. Crosses it back. And he's brought down at the 39. He wasn't able to do anything with it there. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Right. 
Third and ten. Two minutes to go. It's third down and they have a long way to go. And we've reached the two minute mark. Dropping back, looking downfield with the pass. Northcutt was the intended receiver, and he's only able to hang on to that one. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. Time for a punt here as it's now fourth down. Smith looks like he's ready for the return. Smith won't try to return this one. Smith saw them closing in fast, so he signaled for the fair catch. He did the right thing, concentrated and caught the ball. Since the defense knows they're going to be passing, the offensive line will have to hold their ground and be ready for any type of stunt. They might even have a back try to chip on the defensive end before going out in the pass pattern. Looking downfield, looking for an option, going long. He made the catch, but he was out of bounds. As a quarterback, you're supposed to put the ball where only the receiver can get it. I think somebody should have told him that he also needs to keep it in bounds. I think they'll keep throwing it to try to get it into field goal range. So it's second and ten. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Johnson sends a man in motion. Dropping back, steps up, throws it, and he drops the pass. He really felt pressure there. I'm not sure how they got through, but the defense really wanted the quarterback. The defense can't suffer a letdown because they've done a great job the last two plays to force this situation. One more great play should get him the ball back with some time to work with. Man, man in watch motion. Him. Watch the motion. Watch the hut, motion. Hut, 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 hut. Back to pass. Looking for an option with the pass. And they're able to connect on that one. So we have first and ten here. Ball on their own 36. Hut. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Quick drop. Looking downfield. It's batted away. He took a big chance on that pass. It's almost better to take the sack there because you don't want that pass to get picked off. As a defensive lineman, you love this because you know they're going to be passing. So you don't worry about a play pass or a handoff or anything like that. You just rush the passer. Hey, don't think the quarterback doesn't know that because he'll let the ball fly before he gets sacked by one of those guys. Back to pass. Pass is left. Nice reception. And he's brought down at the 40. About six to go. Ball on their own 40. A little over a minute left. Dropping back, looking for an option. Gets the pass off. That pass doesn't find its target. The quarterback tried to put that one through the receiver. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. Tupa is just about ready to pump this one away. Davis signals fair catch on this punt. Davis had no room for a return and called for the fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. The defense doesn't want to play too soft underneath, because this guy might throw to his back out in the flat. If they want to keep this thing going into halftime, they have to be aware of things like that. And they go with the delay. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner is stuck. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. Drops back, looking downfield, passing to the middle of the field. Johnson was the intended target. The quarterback was hit just as he was releasing the pass. I'm not sure how they got through, but the defense really wanted the quarterback. Third and long. Do they gamble here or just keep it on the ground? With the score being as it is, it might just be better playing it safe. But that's the coach's decision. Not on. Back to pass. He's looking. Passes it. 
He hits his receiver, and it looks like they'll That's mark it at the 30. He didn't make it thanks to some great miles. defensive work. These guys know what they have to do on third down. Seems like that call was just a give right. Gardaki is just about ready to punt this one away. Smith sets up, waiting for the punt. Smith will call for the fair catch. So the offense takes over, still trying to figure out this defense. First and ten. Ball on their own 30. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Gets the pass off, and he makes the grab. Griffin stops him at the 38-yard line. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Tampa Bay takes a timeout. One timeout remains. If they can get a field goal here, it'll be a big boost for them when they get into the locker room at halftime. Grammatica is looking to add to their total with this attempt. He gets the kick off. The kick hooked left, and he misses it. At halftime, Tampa Bay, seven. Cleveland, seven. Seven, Tampa Bay, seven. To the game. Number seven to kick off. Number 86, then number 87. He gets the kick away. Davis is on his way upfield. The Browns take over on offense at the 17. First and ten. Ball on their own 17. The Browns are in the offset eye. Searching for a save. Webster with the tackle at the 23-yard line. That time, the offense ran it. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. A little over four to go. Ball on their own 23. Using motion. Green gets the toss. And he's tackled at the 31. He really covered some good ground there. And here's a guy with great speed who can pick up the first and keep the ball moving downfield. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Couch with a man in motion. Green gets the toss. Nice move. And it looks like this one will be spotted at the 35. Second and six coming up here. Watch him, watch him. Outside, outside. Set. Davis comes in motion. Receives the toss. Sapp brings him down at the 29 yard line. So that results in a loss of five. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Set, 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 set. Looking to pass. Surveying the field. Rolls right. Couch lets it fly. Barber Number makes two, the play the at the 40 yard line. For an 11 yard game. Fourth and one coming up. Ball on their own 40. Gardaki is just about ready to punt this one away. Uh, they run a fake. Loses the defender. 
Sapp. Who's in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. Please remember, fans are not allowed on the field at any time. First and ten. Couch under center. Drops back. Passing right. Right to the defender. Buccaneers are in the offset eye formation. Man in motion. Quick drop. Rolls left. Johnson lets it fly. And it's caught. McCutcheon with the tackle at the 26. Great reception on that play, John. Looks like someone might have blown their coverage on that one. Right, so they need about three here. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Buccaneers line up with two tight ends. Warren comes up big for the defense, dropping the quarterback. The quarterback needs to be decisive under pressure. And he needs to find his go-to guy if he feels that pressure coming. It's third down and seven to go. Come on, defense, whip it up. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Dropping back, passing to the middle of the field. And he's brought down at the 21-yard line. He pulled the trigger quickly. As hard as he throws it, he always seems to put the ball right on the receiver's number. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Johnson sets up, using motion. Looking downfield. Uses the pump. Throwing. Gets his hand on it. Despite good coverage, he forces the ball in there. Yeah, that guy trusts his arm. He thought he could rifle it in there. Right. Right. Second down and 10 to go. Set. Man in motion. Watch your pass. Watch your pass. Cut. 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 Ball stop. Gets the toss. Searching for a save. Miller makes the tackle at the 19. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. Third and eight. Ball on the 19-yard line. Dropping back with the pass. And this pass is completed. Henry records the tackle at the 10-yard line. Peyton makes the catch his first of the day. Ball inside the 10. Ball stop. The deep man. Dropping back. Steps up into the pocket. With the throw, it was tipped. Fuller didn't give him a chance on that one. Yeah, just stick your hand in there and whap it down. At the end of the third quarter, it is still not enough. Tampa Bay, seven. Cleveland, seven. So it's second and ten. Ball on the ten-yard line. Four-man front this time. Looking to throw. Throwing left. Hits his man with the pass. And he slings it in there for the touchdown. Yeah, that route was all about timing between the quarterback and his receiver. That guy knew exactly when the pass was going to get there. He turned around and boom! The pass was right on the money. Johnson finds his man and throws his second touchdown of the game. 
And so they didn't have very far to go and were able to take advantage of that and get the touchdown. I think when they took the field, they saw how close they were to the end zone. They took it upon themselves to make sure the drive got them a touchdown, not just a field goal. That's a great job by the offense to understand the situation and make the most of it. Northcutt returns this kick. The last drive ended with an interception. So let's see what happens as they take over again. Four-man front this time. The Browns use motion. With the toss. He's looking upfield. And he goes out at the 30-yard line. Pickup of about seven. So they need about three here. Ball on their own 30. Barber brings him down at the 32. Gain of two. About a yard to go. Couch sets up. Green looking for room. Brooks records the tackle at the 32. He was in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. him down at the 32. You have to wonder if that was the right time to go for it. Well, that's a question. A coach will always be second-guessed when he goes for it on fourth down, and he fails to get it. Right. Now within their kicker's range. We're coming. We're coming. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He goes to the left side. Great catch. The receiver did a good job bringing that pass in. You can't have a great catch without a pretty good pass. And they had both on that play. Right. So it's first and goal. Five. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from right. the lineman. So it's second and goal. Looking for an option. Throws it. And it's complete. He threw a great pass, and they get into the end zone. The quarterback knew that he had to make that pass perfect. And he got the job done on that one. And that's another throw and catch that went for six. He's making it look very easy. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. So they were able to use their great field position and drive the short distance to get into the end zone. As a defense, it's a tough situation when you come out and you realize the offense doesn't have to go very far. I'm sure the next drive, they'll come out and want to stop them no matter where the drive starts. He kicks it off. The returner will head upfield. Well, it appears he's injured. He's getting off the field okay, so we'll have to wait to find out what we can from Melissa in just a moment. So we have first and ten here. The Browns line up in the shotgun. Looking for a receiver. Couch rolling over to his right. Johnson was the intended receiver. He left that one down. One thing remains constant. No matter what kind of quarterback we are, rushing your throws is going to end up in incompletion or worse. 
Melissa what can you tell us about his injury. Al I just got an update from the team doctor who told me that it is a foot injury but after examining it he doesn't think that it's too serious his return is probable. Melissa thanks for the update sounds like he'll be back very soon. Third down, and they have a long way to go. Ball on their own 23. Set. Cut. Looking downfield, looking for a receiver. Passes it, and he makes the grab. Jackson makes the catch, his first of the day. It's first and 10. Field, surveying the field, passing right. He appeared to feel the pressure there. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. Right. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 49. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Looking to throw, stepping up. Tosses it right, and he makes the grab. The former first-round pick has now thrown for over 100 yards after completing that pass. A little over four to go. Nickelback on this time. Looking downfield, surveying the field. Broken up. Morgan can't come up with the catch, and that brings up fourth down. Yeah, if you drop those third down passes, you're going to have a lonely flight home. They'll go with a hurry up offense. Bobby. Bobby. Set, Quick drop. He surveys the field, tosses it right, and he hits his target. Johnson displayed great leaping ability to get up and make the catch. Some of these guys have the skills to play other professional sports if they had wanted, and really a chance to show off when they do things like that. He's looking to pass, surveying the field, looking downfield. Couch rolls out to his right, and the catch is made. And with that catch, he has his first of the day. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Dropping back, steps up, looking downfield. Passes it out to the left. So the pass falls incomplete in the end zone. If they get a first here, they'll need to start picking them up quick. The more downs you use to get the first, the longer it takes. And they need every second on the clock to try and make a comeback. He's going to throw. Surveying the field. Tossing it to the middle. The defense came up big on that incompletion. This is where you have to clamp down. Play tight, keep the pressure on. You know, as a defense, you live for these big fourth and short situations. It's all about making that one play to end the other team's comeback hopes. Dimebacks in for this play. He's going to throw. He's looking. Passing to his right. Batted down. The offense turns the ball over on downs. When a team gambles and makes it, the coach is a hero. If they fail, everyone will second-guess the coach all week long. So they have first and ten here. He tucks it away. Looking to turn it upfield. Miller with the tackle at the 26. You don't always need to rely on your running game to pick up huge gains out there. Using it as a change of pace is an effective strategy. Second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Johnson gives the ball off. And it looks like this one will be spotted at the 28-yard line. Face mask on the defense. Number 92. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. Not a decisive move for the ball carrier there, Johnny. Just couldn't decide where he wanted to go. Yeah, and that's not the way you want to go. But against this defense, you don't have a heck of a lot of choices. Tupa is looking for a good punt here. 
Davis muffs the catch. The Browns scoop up the live ball. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Drops back. Couch. Passes it right. He hits his receiver. Green is there for the catch. His first of the game. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 44. Looking downfield. Couch. Throw. It's broken up. The coverage was there, but he decided to throw it anyway. I'm no quarterback, but even I saw that he was covered. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 44. They'll go with a pass. He surveys the field, throws it. Johnson just dropped that pass. For some players, they say the worst place to hit him is right in the hand. Looks like this may be one of those guys. And the defense has forced them into a critical fourth down. This is why you play the game, for situations like this. I think you go with what you have the most confidence in. Maybe it's your receiver, or maybe it's your tight end. Whatever it is, the quarterback has to get it there. The Browns line up in the shotgun, looking to pass. He surveys the field, and the catch is made. Barber was in on that play, giving him seven tackles so far in the game. They're just about in field goal range. Couch gets set. Looking to throw. Steps up into the pocket. Gets the pass off. And they're able to connect on that one. Northcutt makes the catch. His first of the day. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Back to pass. He surveys the field. Couch passes left. And the catch is made. The defense wasn't ready for that, and they pay the price on the touchdown pass. Looks like everyone bid on that play. To me, it looked like there were about 11 bites. Set. Cut. And it's on its way. The point after the is good. Is good. Dawson sets up for the onside kick. Number 26 and number 86 deep to receive. They're going to try to grab the onside kick. Battaglia is heading upfield. Just about ready to get this drive started after being forced to punt on their last possession. The defense has a timeout left, but it won't help them. Neil Downs can end the game running out the clock. So they're almost within their kicker's range. That's their final timeout. Only one more kneel down needed. They're just about in field goal range. Ball on the 44-yard line. Make it happen, D. Make it happen. So on third down, all they have to do is kneel, and it will be over. This was a good win for him. And they'll face a long third down here. The defense is stacking the line of scrimmage. And this game is over. The final score is Tampa Bay 21, Cleveland 14. A reminder to join us next week for another exciting NFL game. This has been a presentation of EA Sports. And this is Al Michaels for our entire crew saying good night.